Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a DVD review and this time around I am reviewing the film called KFZ, Kentucky Fried Zombies. Right, straight away I'll let you know that KFZ, Kentucky Fried Zombies is a cheaply made horror zombie film. And uh, the front cover, if you can see that, as good as you can, there you go, Kentucky Fried Zombies. The front cover looks a lot better than the actual film does. Let's put it that way. So, this is what the review is all about. A front cover looks better than the film. So, the film starts off in what seems to be a really bad interview. And the interview takes place with a woman who is seems to be interviewing the guy. And uh, really she's not very attractive, even though in the first bit of the film that you gather that this guy kind of fancies her and he's into The guy who is being interviewed, or seems to be being interviewed, he kills the waitress, and he does it really badly. And then he kills the chef, and he kills him really badly as well. And that's within a few minutes of the film, really. Um, dodgy sort of interview, sort of start of the film and then he kills the waitress and the chef. In the film there are two lines that stood out for me. Two good good quality lines. The first one was this one was what else would I keep in my rope and tape bag? So that was alright I thought. And uh, the other one was by a sheriff who'd been the sheriff had been bitten and he'd been, he was losing a lot of blood from the neck and uh, his line was there's a car in the radio, whereas he should have said there's a radio in the car. But it was sort of, you had to be there, it was in the moment, and both those lines were kind of funny. And that was about the funniest part in the film. Two bad lines, really, that stood out for me. So, the main guy, who, no. the guy's not even on the front cover or really a good visible picture in the back cover either. But the, So anyway, the main guy... You can't see him on the cover of the DVD, uh, but you do kind of find out that he's a killer within the first minute, which isn't a spoiler. But the main guy, the killer, he looks like, now if you're a wrestling fan you'll get it, but the main guy looks like Dean Ambrose, the uh, leader almost of uh, The Shield, and he looks like him. The lead guy looks like a wrestler. So it looks like a wrestler called Dean Ambrose and the main guy, he also sounds like a poor man's Edward Norton. Now Edward Norton's been in a lot of Hollywood films. So the main guy looks like a wrestler and sounds like a poor man's uh, Edward Norton. In the first probably 10-15 minutes of the film you gather that the guy is a bit of a serial killer. Because he says to two people who are in the diner where the film's set that he's killed people before but they've never come back as zombies so this is a bit of a new one for him as well the camera work of KFZ Kentucky Fried Zombies is pretty damn bad really camera work looks cheap the acting by every single person is pretty bad really the best death scene is at the end of the film the makeup effects on each of the zombies and even of uh, any of the people who have been bitten is quite bad it's just a bit of blood and grey paint really towards the end of the film it does get a bit confusing uh, you don't know really if uh, there's a zombie epidemic or if the poor man's Edward Norton slash Dean Ambrose looking guy uh, you don't know if he's killed a lot of people in the area and they've all come back as zombies or if there just happens to be a strange occurrence of a zombie outbreak while he's killed some people and tried to rob them but uh, yeah guys, I picked this up for a great amount of £1 and uh, the front cover looks better than the actual film. It's not great, uh, but Halloween's coming up and uh, yeah, if you think like having a few drinks and buying a cheap zombie film to scare you, then uh, KFC might be the one for you. So guys, that was my review of KFC, Kentucky Fried Zombies. Hope you like it. Cheap film guy looks like a wrestler slash Edward Norton lookalike uh, but yeah it's uh, it's not a great film it's cheaply made but uh, yeah if you're after a cheap zombie film KFC Zombie is the one for you so that was my review thanks for watching of course
course guys, how could I forget? Also, down in the links in below, Weed the Devoted. I uh, talk about them all the time, go check them out, they're awesome. Uh, please guys, check them out, all the links down below. Stickers, t-shirts, they make them all. Amazing stuff, Weed the Devoted, down in the link. But yeah, thanks for watching uh, Kentucky Fried Zombie, my review. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. It looks a lot.